I have gathered everyone here today to make an in- Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am- We built the Jade Chamber? So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building material- <gasps> The Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. <gasps> Lady Ningguang, is there any way we can be of service? Patience. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have- Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar- Only sufficiently large pieces of plostrite, or specifically, vermilionite, may earn themselves the sunset moniker. This stone is what adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating them- Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, I take the saying, time is money, more serious- You may ask me anything, and I will give you an honest answer. These things won't be easy to get hold of. But if it means a chance to get some inside information, then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Haha, <laughs> what a coincidence. I won't divulge too much, but... Oh, no. We'd better move quick. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Interest. Yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable. Really? Ooh, the part Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again. <laughs> of course. But how the construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once I have other business, remember. Ningguang seems super busy. First, we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're e. As it happens, we have some information about the materials that I really. Th no. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Hey, why don't you stand there? Oh, right, yeah. Did you hear that? They said they had some useful information. Information, just what we need right now. Let's follow them and see what we can find out. <laughs> well, will you? Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the the energy. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk? I've already told you. I don't. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to. Ah, uh, come on, ma'am. It's not about whether. You... I won't. No more excuses! Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into then she knew at kiosk, then Wan Mean restaurant. Same story, eat. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps. Hi. Boss, I'm telling you something's... What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. The Millilith? What, what, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? Silence! 
How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with- <laughs> No, no, don't do- <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. And this is Paimon's trap. Oh, I've heard about you two before. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have... Ah! You, you can't do this. This is Leela Harbor. There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know? Laws? No. Apparently not. Really? So... That would be my stomach growling. Hmm. I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait, that's right. They said you would have been. Of course, you're still hungry. Hmm. Chingson, glaze lily, violet grass. These are my usual. Hmm. Medicinal herbs? Kinda hard to explain. Hmm. Anyway, Boo Boo Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there. For After all, you can't work. Psst. Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? Seems like it's her first time in Liyue. Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your pres- Chingson, glaze lily, and violet grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. She's... Oh. <sighs> My hunger has now abated. Hmm. Hmm. Rather... <sighs> though they were not completely... So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant? If Paimon had enough, Mora... Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious. But should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only... P Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains? Hmm. Enough about me. Hmm, I see. Hmm, I heard something. <laughs> yep! You, were you interested in- hmm, I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now- Wow! But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so- Then let's not delay. Great! Hmm, I am- We simply need to- Veto! That is not acceptable! Really? But I hear that competition- Look. We want to win this Sunset Vermilion Night Wonder Course. I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, it's you. Bye, Hugh. What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so... Huh? How come Lady Ningguang needs so much... I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the... Oh. And she also... No, no! Ah, the ver... As far as the record sh Okay, then! Let's go ask... Thanks, Baiju! You're quite well... Master Singcho, thank good- Oh? Why do I detect an- The guild has had a whole string of strange orders in recently. Your father gave me specific instructions to- I see. Oh, how wonderful. Hey, Xingxiu! Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in- Understood, Master Singcho. The now- I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? Xingqiu, have you ever- Oh, I see. So you've entered late- As well? Do you- The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some sunset- We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. 
and a lot of interested parties have already come to us at the end of the day, it all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction pro- 500 million?! Honestly, I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated. But... without any- Don't panic. I don't suppose you ever heard- Who? Hmm. Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper. Yes, precisely. According to records of drift after Seagazer pa Luckily... That's great! Wouldn't it be a- hmm. You needn't- Open-minded. Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then. Hmm. There's something about this. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ing. Okay, we. This place was... Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new celium? I believe, with any luck, the sun... Really? Look, and now that Paimon takes a closer... These are not real clouds. They are the product of... If we want to go down, we must first destroy... All right, then let's... I sense the presence of...
It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Transfiguration! The mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. we need to go further down but before that let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first Please, a 
Attack! Force my blade! With the wind!
exorcism uses thaumat-
submit for judgment. Maybe I wasn't meant for this world. of frost. with my blade. Submit for judgment. Mm. 
for this world.
Straight doesn't float until it's activated. Only after being at Wow, Shen. Only because my I don't care for her stories most of the Hold on a sec. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Are you sure? Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a Plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. My safety. That's right! Paimon, you gotta be extra- hmm. I'll go on ahead with the pl- How is Shenhe able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Adept I super strength much? We can't- Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive ro Oh, mighty adept! This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply... I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe and Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. Wh In truth, it is the... F if everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need... A now, please excuse me. Shenhe, Shenhe, just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing... Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon... I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm... Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive, too. But uh, I am not... 
Uh. Shana? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Um, well, but... <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit... You can't do that! It's when you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go like... Okay. Great! Now we're talking... Hi there. Since this was chosen, so great. One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess here are your keys. Shenha, you should go get some rest. Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Let's buy one for Shen. <sighs> All right. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. Mm-hmm. One trusts you have met Shen He. So far, so good. Yeah. Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who's cool. So calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of dis. Her adeptus name. Why pray? T uh, don't all adeptus. On this latter point, you are correct. Oh, oh, right. What? You knew already. Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Well, to stop. Ah, yes. One first fell inside with Shenha, then aged around six years old. That sounds. When one arrived, she had already been that she was able. One dealt with them. In other words, if not necessary. That's still so. Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. Indeed. However, her hot moon carver once performed a dip. Red ropes have indeed served to keep her. It is only by fate. Oh, now Paimon gets. Huh. Ning Guang won. If she handles it, let us conclude our. She doesn't like being treated as an adeptus. Having everyone falling over themselves to show their respect all the time must be kind of hard to deal with. 